When I was like three years old, I didn't know in the same way I know now, but I still knew that there was something different from most other people. I always really wanted a dad. My curiosity has just grown exponentially, and then in middle school, I started looking for him. Hello, my donor number is 5114. I'm six feet, one inch tall. I have medium build, straight brown hair, and brown eyes. I never really thought that I would come in contact with my siblings, but I knew that there was a chance that they're out there. Hi. We're brothers and sisters, but we've never met before. So where did you come from? Most of my friends can just talk about their dad. I can't even picture him in my head, only my mom. Sometimes you're not even that similar to your mom, so you're like, here I am with a group of women who have had children by the same man as I have, and we just met. It's very delightful, but it's also weird, I think. It's crazy to think that I was once in a tiny little container like this. This is all we get. You're so excited about the fact that you're starting this journey with having a baby. You don't think about the wider picture. Just having 20 other half siblings is a lot to take in. You have to share the donor with all of these other people. These kids are not looking for a father figure. They're looking for a missing piece to their puzzle. We just want to have some identity. We've been brought up with this mystery in our lives. When he donated he should have considered the future and what he was going to be like in 20 years. I just turned 18 and I was just wondering about contacting the donor. No matter what he says, it's going to probably change our lives forever. How do you not want to meet people you gave life to? How could that not mean something to you? Maybe he's just as nervous as we are. I have a request for a donor location for number 5114. 